Hey y'all, Irix Sky here back again. Now, I wanted to talk about something that's actually very intimidating, but it's very simple. But there's a few key steps that everyone should be aware of before they start uh, to take the plunge. And that's moving Mac email from one Mac to another Mac. Now the good thing is it's very simple, but there are some key components that that need to be re need to be available first. And those are, you need to make sure that if you have multiple email accounts, or just a single email account on your Mac for that matter, you need to make sure you have all of the, uh, the passwords for those accounts. Because there's a way to migrate those passwords, but it's not, in my opinion, the optimal way to do this. If you take that route, sure, it probably will work, but it's going to involve a lot of extra steps, and in my opinion, manually typing those individual email account passwords is a lot easier. So the first thing you're going to want to do on your old Mac that you're moving the email from, I would recommend exiting out of all applications. I would go ahead and just reboot the Mac for that matter. And what you're going to want to do with all your applications closed is browse on your Mac using Finder. Go to your uh, Macintosh hard drive go to your users directory and then pick yourself so your user in my case it's irix guy so i would pick irix guy and then i would go into i would go into library now when you go into library or you may not even see library because it's probably hidden so what you're going to want to do is hold down the option key on your keyboard and then you should be able to click into library so once you're in the library directory what you're going to want to do is drag that entire folder called mail, M-A-I-L. Just grab, grab that entire folder and copy it. You can copy it to a thumb drive. You can copy it to an external hard drive. You can copy it over your network to your new Mac. But copy that file. Don't cut it, but copy it. And then paste it to the same location on your new Mac. So that'll be your Macintosh hard drive, users directory, you know, your your account name, in my case it's Irix guy, and then library folder. So drop mail, the mail folder within the library folder on your new Mac. Once it finishes copying, and keep in mind on your new Mac you should have had all your applications closed as well. I failed to mention that. But on your new Mac, when you then launch mail, you should see all of your emails, any of your uh, in my case, I did email folders to better organize my old emails. You should see all of that. And make sure it's all there. And then if you use multiple email accounts, make sure they're all there. Send a test email with each. And when you send that email or receive that email, it's probably going to prompt you for the password because this procedure is probably not going to pull the passwords with it. But it should pull all the settings without the password. So test it out. Make sure all your old emails are there. Make sure you can send, send and receive new emails using your accounts on that new Mac. Make sure everything is perfect before removing that e those emails from the old Mac. And out of good practice, what I would do is just keep a copy of that mail folder that you dragged over. I would keep a copy of it for a week or so on, a, on an external hard drive or thumb drive just in case something funky happened with your mail configuration you've at least got a backup that you can try to restore again. But that's how to do it. It's actually pretty simple. And again, subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And enjoy all of my videos. I've got a lot of Mac videos. I've got a lot of travel videos, a lot of everything. So subscribe and share this video with others. And if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer. Y'all have a good day.